What's up you guys, Stoops back again, and today I'm bringing you a little bit different of a video than I normally do. Now the other day, I was approached to test out a new game, and I was like, wow, a new game? What could this be? I was approached to try out and give my thoughts on Lineage 2 Revolution. Now I've heard of Lineage in the past, I actually played the game quite a bit, there's different expansions to that game, it's been around for quite a while, so I was very familiar with the title, as many of you might be. Now Lineage is like a fantasy style MMO that offers a lot of PvP and immersive content, and is typically accompanied by a very immersive combat system. All things I was a big fan of. So big shout out to Netmarble for giving me the opportunity to test out their game, thank you so much. So I decided to do my research and look into the game and see what the game had to offer. Now, when first reading about the game, I actually found out that it was played through on your phone. Now, I've never been a big app guy. I have a really big head. When I was growing up, my family always called me Egghead. I mean, look at this thing. So sitting on my phone for a long time actually hurts. My neck starts to cramp. My muscles get strained. It's hard to keep this thing up all day. But the game offers a lot of great features that doesn't necessarily keep you glued to your phone all day. And I'll get to that in the review portion of the video or during my live playthrough. Again, having a really big head, I decided to look into some of the other features that the game had to offer. I found that it was sporting the Unreal Engine 4 graphic system. I saw that it offered large-scale PvP battles, real-time party play, an immersive storyline, as well as individual progression systems, character progression systems, like you'd come to expect in any modern MMO. But it's all off your phone. And after seeing some of the pictures, I thought the game looked absolutely amazing. Again, all from your phone. Now, the release date for this game is still TBD, to be announced, not been decided quite yet. However, after being offered to test the game out, I couldn't say no. I love MMOs. I love being connected with other players across the world. I love the PvP. Who doesn't like pooning noobs? So I decided to make a quick video offering a little bit of a playthrough and testing out some of the content. I hope you guys enjoy. All right, here we go. Man, I can never get this thing. Come on. I can never get this thing comfortable, man. Come on. Whew. I think we're good. All right, here we go, boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. I'm excited. NC Soft Corp, Netmarble Games. I am familiar with both these companies. Unreal Engine 4, I am also familiar with this engine, this graphics engine. I'm very excited. I like the music going into it. It has that immersive feeling, so it seems pretty nice. All right, so first thoughts, here we are. We're at the character creation screen. I have not played this before, and it looks like we have four uh, races to choose from. We have Elf. Ooh, a little cinematic here. Ooh, she's pretty. Ooh, I dig that for sure. We have the Dark Elf. Looks a little bit more dark and evil, obviously. A little more savage, a little bit more brutal. Rocking that dual sword combo here. Got that massive human intro. Shield and sword. And we have the dwarf. Ooh, not a big fan of female dwarfs, though. <laughs> I'm really liking the female elf here. Dark Elf looks great and all as well. Kind of reminds me of the haircut I used to have in middle school. I was into AFI and all those different bands. I don't know if any of you guys can relate to that. I hate my life. I hate everybody. Although his hair does look a lot better than mine did. Ooh, I'm kind of digging this guy as well. I kind of want to look like him IRL. Uh, maybe I'll go with him. Maybe to bring back the nostalgia from middle school. I used to play Lineage back in the day. I used to look like this guy back in the day. And that's what MMOs are really about, right? Like becoming one with your character. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Oh, so I have multiple classes here, it looks like. We have a warrior, a rogue, and a mystic. I can change the hairstyle. Whoa, I'm really digging this one. Look at that. These are really great graphics for being based off of your phone. I must say that this Unreal Engine 4 does look pretty good for a game, again, that is going to be based off of your phone. I really like that. It looks pretty good. We have a rogue as well. Ooh, skilled in using dagger and bow. We have the mystic damage dealer who uses magic to attack enemies. You know, honestly, I always feel like the rogue these types of classes do the most damage and with that you're often really squishy so i'm kind of digging that oh you can even go in here and break it down uh, you have the warrior rogue and mystic once again now it looks like at level 31 you have the option to break down into an abyss walker or a phantom ranger Get a nice preview motion here the classic stoops name young peon here huh look at me just starting out fresh. I still look pretty cool, though. Kind of, We kind of have the same physique. I don't have the same hair as him, um, but we have the same kind of physique. We're on the track of getting that nice character connection, that intertwinedness, if that's a word. A little bit of an intro cinematic here. Again, for being based off of your phone, this looks really good. Is this your first time on Talking Island? This is my first time. It's a good thing quests are automated. Oh, yes. What? Quests are automated? Are you telling me? Well, let's find out. Oh my gosh. This is a good place for adventurers to gain experience. That's what I'm looking for. Did you take on some work to get familiar with the area? Sounds great to me. Okay, the first quest. So find the mercenary captain. I get 122 experience. 
145 gold and it looks like a potion of some sort yes restores hp by a small amount so i'll need that for sure oh my goodness hands free so i don't know how long this is gonna last for but there's an auto questing feature that is actually doing the quest for me or at least it's taking me to the area now this is something that i've been waiting for for a long time i don't know about you guys but i'm the worst quester and i said this a lot in my stream in my videos i'm the worst pve player ever i'm just not good i only know how to poon noobs of course i'll keep my eyes on you stoops Ooh, erica female elf dark elf stoops Erica stoops. So it says the automated quest stops once the quest is complete. Tap to begin the next quest. So this could be a great feature and I see why it's been implemented. I wish this was implemented across every game because I love this idea. If I don't want to have to complete the quest myself, grabbing things, picking things up, returning them, it does it for me. Now I could see this being a great feature on your phone. Now if you're at class or you're at an appointment or you're at school or you're at work even, being able to quest automatically in the background and not having to be fully attentive at your phone, I think is a great progression feature. Again, I have a big head, so being able to automatically do my quest and have to continuously stare at my phone, I think is an amazing feature. So I really like this so far. I'm looking for some work. Let's go, man. Mercenary Captain Douglas, you're yoked. The quest, and it does it for me. It's doing it for me. And I do have the option to move myself to the target area, but again, if I want to just leave this running in the background, do whatever else I'm doing. If I'm in the car and I can't stare at my phone, it's not too much investment. It's not too much time. Oh, a big red bear. Let's go, baby. Let's go, bears. You want some too? Ah! I feel bad for these bears. I'm just murking them. These orcs look crazy, man. Let's go, Captain Douglas. Are you going to help me or what? Ooh, get some bonus loot. You used to acquire a random grade C piece of armor appropriate for your class. It doesn't feel like you're requiring me to do a lot of work. It doesn't feel tiring. It just does things for me. I still feel a immersed enough to watch my character to check up on them to continue the quest chain now if i save my webcam for a quick second you can kind of see the basic setup the basic ui here uh, you would have your uh, movement pad in the left side where your thumb would be you have all of your abilities over here on the right so you can kind of see all your abilities lined up your potions and you even have this chat feature where you can type out loud to people around you this chat box there's a microphone feature where you can probably speak into your microphone for the local area or the world area you have various emotes and smiley faces. There's a party feature where you can group up with people around you and search for a party. Everything you would expect of a normal MMO, your health bars, your mana bars, your level. You have an inventory feature here where you can equip new gear and you have all of your different abilities and you will continue to unlock them, I'm sure, over time. Now, again, with the auto quest feature, it is optional. I can manually control my character, activate my abilities, run over to different enemies and hit them and begin combat. Now, if I want to continue the quest chain using the auto quest feature, just tap the quest and it does it for you. Very simple, episode clear. You can even see here that you have your EXP bar, battery life, your Wi-Fi connection, letting you know all that information there as well. So again, it's a really clean interface. All right, so we finished that portion of the quest. I'm gonna continue the auto quest feature because I really like this. It's also great for doing this review because I can spend time talking to you guys. And there's also now an auto equip feature. So I can accept my quest, definitely. Anything automatic, I like. Got my new loot here, looking pretty cool, looking pretty fly. Got that low cut belt going, that nice six pack. The environment's really nice, I actually like it. It. Very fantasy based, very beautiful, colorful, not too dull. Variety of mobs, it looks like. Ooh, forget Erica. Cadelia, are you into dark elves? Level three, boys. Putting out some heat on these prairie bats. Level four. Fair and the blacksmith. You can show me how to improve my gear. Let's do it. Oh, this is great. Oh, so your gear levels up as well. So basically, you can use other pieces of gear that you probably don't need, a weaker piece of gear, pay a little bit of money, break them down, and use them to kind of upgrade another piece of gear. I like the bow. I have the option to do a bow and I can forge a bow into another bow. I got some gold so I can go forge some new gear. Oh man, all these decisions. See, there's so many great features here. Like there's so many things that you can do, even though again, there's an auto quest feature. It's so nice to be able to go through my inventory, see what I've collected, reforge it to new gear, equip new different types of items. And again, I'm only level six. So again, it's there are things to do throughout the game that I really enjoy. And I'd love to be able to group up with other people when the game is launched. Auto quest, let's go, baby. Oh, she's helping me fight, dude. What a gangster. I don't want my auto quest feature to do everything for me. I want to show her that i'm a real man let's go well i hit for 168 that was the biggest hit i've hit all day you can feel my power dude i think she actually likes me this time dude lineage two player rank one stoops dude no one can touch me me and this purifying fairy take over the entire game oh got a new skill let's go oh got a bow i've double shot too so if i switch to my bow i have more abilities now i don't know dude do i go bow do chicks dig the bow gorosaurus here I i'll protect you oh whoa oh he ain't playing dude gorosaur i'm really bad at pronouncing things that thing is giant the vex are so good for being on your phone it's pretty epic actually dash the room 
Oh, I'm destroying this thing. Oh, I gotta move out of that for sure. I should wait for my cooldowns to come back up. Getting a six point combo in there, eight point combo, ten point combo. I told you ain't nothing. You don't gotta worry about anything when you're around me. Level seven, episode clear. Soups is going places, aren't you, buddy? Nia's back again. All right, I know we're friends and all. There's a daily dungeon. In daily dungeons, different monsters appear every day. That's really cool. So you have like a daily, right? Daily quest, daily dungeon. So I get a lot of experience. Let's do it. That's a cool feature. Oh, so there's another boss. Oh, I love boss fights. Or oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, dude. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna wreck this dude. I don't want auto battle. You got nothing on me, son. What's up, sucker? So I can do it a couple times a day and it resets daily. Oh, you can see the um. Oh, that's really cool. So every day you can see what you're fighting against. You can kind of plan out your week or whatever. Ooh, Sunday looks epic. Oh, there's different difficulties. <gasps> All right, looks like we finally reached a town, a hometown. We got Mr. Daniel here, Archon Daniel. Now, as we get closer to launch, I look forward to trying the PvP system. I look forward to engaging in end game content, having a max level character. I feel like this is a great place to leave off for today's video. All right, that was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed. There are really a lot of features to this game that make it feel like a full fledged MMO. And most importantly, I'm really excited to try the PvP system and being able to do that on the go when I'm bored, in between class, so even though I have a really big head. You might see me on my phone a lot more often. That's gonna be for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Big shout out to Netmarble for giving me the opportunity to test out this game. Being able to play an MMO from anywhere around the world, I think is an amazing idea, a great idea. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys are interested in trying out this game with me. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any more questions, you like this style of MMO, if you want to join me on the release of this game, or even if you just dig Stoops, the Night Elf Rogue, let me know in the comment section below. Do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next.